Well, good morning folks. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. I'm back. The boys are harvesting canola at the moment. It's the 19th of October. Um, we've had a little breakdown this morning with our truck. Um, the B triple, it's carting canola, starter motor issue. Um, I'm babysitting too, so I've got my Matt's young fella. He's one of four and he's the only boy. So he needs a bit of pop time every now and then to get away from all the girls. So that's his, his privilege today and mine. But I must have been too much for him today. He's, uh, he's just, he's out to it. Oh, he's coming too. He's nearly coming too. Hello, Eddie. Say hello, everybody. You want to say hello? <laughs> he's... <clears throat> Still got his little restrainer on here, he, that makes it safe for us all. But anyway, he's had about half hour sleep, so he's ready to go. So we'll just see, let him wake up a bit more. One of the plans for today is, we've got, there's a lot of unrest in the world at the moment. Fuel prices are going all over the place. This one's, well, this, this tank holds 55,000 litres um, in two halves. Uh, just want to, while fuel prices are moderate, without being real cheap or real expensive we want to just top up so we haven't got a gauge so what the plan is a sight gauge so what the plan is to drill a little hole and I'll just use a really tiny little drill make a pilot hole see how deep or how thick that metal is and whether there's enough to put an, a bigger drill bit in uh, to give me some enough threads to make it seal and what the plan is if that is the case, I want to put that nipple there in oh, at least three or four turns and then like tap it with this square tap. There's a tapered one here in case it's, it is it is really deep but otherwise tap it with this one. Get um, two or three turns on it without too much fuel going in everywhere. If I use that little that little drill bit it won't matter if I do drill through, it'll be easily controllable. I've got the redundancy plan here, the toothpick to plug it, and that way even if I wanna go drill right through, it won't matter, It can the drill bit can chew out the toothpick and that won't cause any drama whatsoever. So if I put that nipple in, and then with, with the tap, if I can tap it two or three threads, then I can drill, I can drill out to a, a bigger diameter if I want. I don't really think I need to. That'll be fine for a sight gauge. Um, you don't want much, you don't need much fuel to fill up your tube. And, um, but we'll see how we go. So that'll be the plan. I'll work towards that. Folks, I'm back again. It's been about three hours since I started. I've had lunch. I've oh, I kept track of Eddie, and but I'm back. And it was a bit interesting doing this, finishing off this job. I've basically done what I've wanted to do. Um, I got within half a mil of breaking through. That is about seven millimeters thick. That, and I went six and a half. And I was, I was shaving off the tip of the tap, 
I was able to get three turns of good thread I, and then I put that PVC over it so that if I did break through instead of it running up and out I could uh, leave the bit in there and seal it temporarily until I figured out another option. The other thing was if I did if I did drill through earlier I made up this plug or this nylon taper that I was I was just going to put into the hole and bash with a hammer to plug it up temporarily so I, I tried to think of most possibilities and take a precaution against each one but as it turned out it was went pretty well so at the moment we've got a 1 16th drill hole that's now I didn't want to go for a really small fitting because they're too fragile and break off easily so I wanted to go this size and this is about the volume that flows out I've got a hook up there that I put on with silicon so that I can tie the top of the sight gauge the tube to and I might even not do the other end of this until we get the tanks empty we did have some trouble we have had some trouble overflowing the tank and it's not a it's not a good situation we should have done it years ago but that's we're just slack sometimes folks just slack so anyway i'm pretty happy with that i guess i'll go and see what the boys are doing with the harvest there now anyway in the meantime if you like these um little bits and pieces that i try and have a crack at uh, welcome comments are always welcome um, we tend to have a crack at things often more often than not you can do a lot of research and it can be paralysis by analysis and I don't know I, I prefer to just get in and have a crack at it sometimes it doesn't work out sometimes it does more often than not probably so anyway that's it see you folks